If you're a recent college grad or just don't have the income history that banks need, how do you get financing? Now, technically there are ways to still get financing. All the other gurus are gonna tell you, come join me, no money down, get into real estate, blah, blah. But I'm not that guru. I did it the hard way and the right way. And even though I know there are other options, I'm not gonna talk about them because I wouldn't recommend them. The first step is going and talking to banks. Getting my first property, I spent an entire day going bank to bank, cold calling. Sometimes I wonder if there's even such thing as people that do it the old fashioned way and cold call and go into places and figure it out. However, I'd literally walk into a bank, sit down and be like, this is my situation. Now, as those that follow me know, my situation was I was self-employed, 100% commission, 1099 employee, which banks hate. Because of that, I had to show consistent 1099 self-employed income over multiple years. W-2 employees can go get an offer letter for 60 grand a year and they'll get approved no problem. That's also a hint of what to do. But I was too busy working 100% commission and making as much money as possible. Despite society norms, despite what all their peers are doing, I was knocking door to door selling crap. Banks do not like that. That is high risk. But talking to the banks and talking to multiple banks, credit unions, I was able to map out a plan of I need to do two more of these years at this company and make X in order for these banks to trust me. I did not get my first credit card until I was 23 years old. I had six figures in the bank from working all through college, selling door to door through college. The limit the credit card company gave me was $250. I also learned I needed to build my credit. I didn't have credit in my name. I had a $250 credit card in my name and in my history. At the time I drove a jacked up diesel Duramax. I could not go the entire month swiping that $250 credit card and fill my diesel. So I had to swipe, log in online, pay it off, swipe, log in online, pay it off every single month multiple weeks through the month. I then had to finance a $13,000 Chevy Cruze. Remember, I have six figures in the bank. I could not pay it in cash because I had to build credit if I had a prayer or a chance to ever get a home. So I financed that stupid Chevy Cruze that I did not need. I built up this credit and then bought a home. I did a five-year ARM program. Those aren't as known nowadays. 2.6% interest, which again, 10 plus years ago, 2.6 was insane, but I knew I was gonna be there less than five years. The short answer is do a one-on-one -on -one consultation or go talk to banks.